بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اهلا وسهلا بكم اعزائي طلبة المرحلة الثالثة في سلسلة دروس طبعا المراجعة المركزة في مادة النحو من سلسلة دروس التعليم الالكتروني من جوجل كلاس روم طبعا هاي محاضرة اعزائي الطلبة محاضرة مراجعة في حال وجود مان او غموض فيما يخص المادة اوكي نعم سنوضح لكم ذلك بالتفصيل موضوع المحاضرة المختار لهذه اليوم هو فنايت and non-finite verb phrases طبعا فيما يخص الفنايت و non-finite verb phrases هو الفروق نعم الهائلة بين الفنايت و non-finite verb phrases نعم The verb forms uh, operate in finite and non-finite verb phrases which are distinguished as follows طبعا نأتي إلى uh, أوجه الفرق بينهما النقطة الأولى finite verb phrases have tense distinction طبعا مثل ما نعرف أنه finite يمتاز عن النون فنايت انه اعزاء الطلبة يشير الى زمن محدد يعني الفنايت يحتوي على زمن النون فنايت لا يحتوي على زمن مثال he studies English or he studied English okay he studies uh, present symbol or symbol present he said it uh, in symbol past I think I have a note I have two finite verb phrases occur as the verb element of a clause اعتبارها جزء من شبه الجملة clause There is person and number concord between the subject and the finite verb. طبعا هاي ال CF مثلا 7.18 هاي لاتينية معناها confer يعني C لاحظ section 7.18 CF أعزاء الطلبة هو مصطلح لاتيني confer E O N F E R C مخلط هذا C من الحرف الأول والف كونفير من الف موجودة بالكلمة يعني تقدر ترجع هنا وتشوف التفاصيل أكثر إلى هذا سكشن سبعة ثمنتاعش وسبعة ستة وعشرين كونكورد is Particularly covered with B. يعني أعزاء الطلبة الممكن أن يتمثل الكنكورد. الكنكورد هو التوافق النحوي. يعني إذا كان الصبجك singular، الverb لازم بلغة إنجليزية مثل ما تعرفون يجب أن يكون singular. مثلاً إذا عندي هي ما يصير أقول هي are. He is. ما يصير أقول they is. They are. I I أخذ أخذ آن هذا النوع يسمونه الكنكورد التوافق أو الانسجام النحوي يعني موجود باللغة الإنجليزية with most lexical verbs concord is restricted to a contrast in third or non third person singular present نعم يعني ممكن إنه أن ينحصر الكنكورد بالأنس الشخص الثالث طبعا أنس الفعل مثلا he reads they read the paper every morning in the model auxiliaries there is however no concord أكيد يعني المودل auxiliary يعني كان أو هو لأنها تعرفون أعزاء الطلبة هاي يأتي بعدها infinitive مصدر فأكيد ما راح ما نتطرق إلى موضوع الكنكورد نعم 3 
نايت فيرب برايسز هاف مود طبعا اذا طلبت تعرفون احنا اخذنا مود مثلا هذا حالة الصبي نكتب ومثل حالة اسمية نعم وقلنا انه مود لحالة الفعل اما تكون مثلا مرفوعة منصوبة مجرورة فالفنايت في هاي الشغلة الى الامرية In contrast to the unmarked indicative mood, we distinguish the marked mood, the indicative mood, or the imperative mood, or the subjunctive mood. My mate said the night. I am not night. How do the mood be? على فعلية. نعم. Let us move to another page. The non-finite. طبعا عزاء الطلبة إحنا راح نأخذ المحاضرة. بالتفصيل يعني وراح تشوفون اكبر طبعا هذا باعتبار مراجعه يعني مراجعه مركزه نعم للمحاضره السابقه The non-finite forms of the verb are uh, the infinitive نعم ما يميز non-finite بما انه يعني ما مقترن بزمن فهو راح بيكون بي infinitive البارتسيبل والـ يعني الـ ING بارتسيبل مثلا لو نجي إلى أو يعني على شكل جمل نسويها لكم أعزائي الطلبة نسويها لكم جمل مثلا finite verb phrase و non finite verb phrase خلال جمل ونشرحها لكم نعم على الجهة اليسرى الانفينايت فيرب فريس يعني الأفعال المحددة بالزمن والأفعال غير المحددة بالزمن الانفينايت فيرب فريس الانفينايت فيرب فريس هي سموكس هيفلي يعني يدخن هيفلي بكثرة أو بغزارة تلاحظون انه اقترن بزمن he smokes symbol of presence بالمقابل to smoke here to smoke is infinitive يعني ما لها اي وجود اي زمن بالانجليزية to smoke ما تشير الى وجود اي زمن لا يوجد زمن في الانجليزية مكون من to و verb ok so this is non-finite to smoke like that must be dangerous He is working. You know this is what which tense this is working. Good. Present continuous. Bainama, I found him working. They are working is present participle here. Participle. ING. Present participle. Working. It refers to no tense. Found him part working. He had been offended before. My dear students, I would ask you here. He had been offended here before. طبعا عزاء طلبة أود أن أسألكم سؤال أين الصبجكت هنا هنا and this sentence okay carries a tense which tense This sentence, okay, carries. He had been offended before. About the whole thing now. After that, the time. Why are you asking me how the time and where is the subject now? Why are you asking me a question? Why are you asking me a question? Go to classroom. Go to me. Having been offended before, he was sensitive. طبعا having been offended هنا ماكو زمن لان انت تعرف ماكو subject اوكي فهنا it's the called the boss participle yes ننتقل الى 23 section 3.24 the model perfective progressive and passive auxiliaries Follow a strict order in the complex verb phrase. طبعا نجي إلى المودل والبرفكتيف 
والبروكرسيف والباسيف اوكسيجيري اعزاء الطلبه يكون لها لها قاعده ثابته ناتي اليها بالتفصيل مودل الافعال الناقصه يعني ود كان وول شل وال وما جاء ذلك مودل اولويز فولود باي ان انفينيتيف طبعا تعرفون انه ذيس از او ذا مودل اوكي ذا مودل بيرس تيك ان انفينيتيف سو اي ود فيزيت اي ود ود از ا مودل Okay, takes the infinitive visit model with perfective always followed by an ed form as in perfective اللي هي عزاء الطلبة تعرفون يعني يقول هي دائما ما تأخذ يعني صيغة ال ed مثلا هي had visited Oh, he would have visited. He had visited. تلاحظون إنه بالإيد في هاي الحالة perfective. Three progressive, always followed by an ing form, as in he was visiting, where he would have been visiting. They would have been visiting. Passive, always followed by an ed form as in. Okay, طبعا. He was visited, where he would have been being visited. He would have been being visited. Now, my dear students, let us explain you on the three concepts in English grammar. Terms, aspects, and mood. Time. طبعا كذلك التايم هم راح نتطرق له. أزاء الطلبة إذا عندكم طرقات بين التايم والتينس فأرجو أن ترسلوا لي الأجوبة على جوجل كلاس روم. نعم فيما يخص تايم. Uh, Time is a universal non linguistic concept. يعني يشير إلى المؤلف هنا هنا على أن الوقت أو الز يعني الوقت هو مفهوم غير لغوي ما له علاقة باللغة. نعم هو مفهوم عام universal. With three divisions, we divide it into three parts. The time. The time is either past, present, or the future. Clear? The time is three parts. The time is either past, present, or the future. Clear? The time is three parts. The time is either past, present, or the future. Clear? By tense, we understand the correspondence between the form of the verb and our concept of time. When we examine اه هو الكورسبوندنس المطابقه او العلاقه بين the form of the verb صيغه او شكل الفعل and our concept ومفهومنا عن الوقت يعني العلاقه بين الوقت والفعل صيغه الفعل يعني صيغه الفعل تكون مثلا present symbol present continuous يعني هنا اذكر بينما ال aspect concerns the manner In which the verbal action is experienced or regarded, for example, as completed or in progress. The aspect is related to the state of the verb, which is a state of being, a state of continuing, a state of continuing. Aspect, which is the perfective or the progressive. Are you clear, students? Yes. While mood relates the verbal action to such conditions, when a mood is in a state of being, for example, certainty, a need, obligation, a exam, necessity, a danger, a possibility, a possibility, this is called the mood. The mood means that it can be used in 
بيها مودل verbs certainty obligation necessity possibility fact however to a great extent these three categories impinge on impinges on each other يعني إلى نوع ما هذه المعثرات البنج يعني تلتقي أو تصطدم كل بعضها مع بعض in particular the expression of time present and past cannot be considered separately from aspect يعني خصوصا ما يخص ال time present and past okay and the expression of the future It's closely bound up with mood. Next, I'm going to go to the detailed explanation of such concepts in linguistics. Tense and aspect. We here consider the present and past tenses in relation to the progressive and perfective aspects. The range can be seen in the sentence frame. The symbol of complex. The present symbol right complex then I am writing, so I am progressive as I was writing progressive. أما في حالة the past, ما الرايت هي رابط. في الحالة the complex, هي مثلاً perfective have written or had written. اللي هي هاي present perfect. و Perfect progressive. نعم يعني المضارع التام المستمر. I've been writing أو الماضي التام المستمر. I've been writing. Now with the tense or time يعني هنسمي present لأن إحنا قلنا التام يقسم إلى ثلاث أقسام. Past, present, and future. نجي إلى أقسام هند إن بالتفصيل صار تنس إذا أطلب. تنس حسب تعريف موته. نعم هو العلاقة بين the form of the verb and our concept of time. The form of the verb and our concept of time. We need to distinguish, yes, that there are three basic types of present. A timeless, يعني هناك زمن مضارع لا يش لا يقترن يقارن نعم وقتية أو زمنية expressed with the symbol present form. مثلا, I always write with a special pen. يعني هي always يعني it's optional يعني. As well as expressing habitual action, as here, the timeless present is used for universal statements such as the sun sets in the west. The مثلاً نحن نقول تغرب من الغرب الشمس من الغرب نعم وهذه ما مقترنة بوقت لأنها حقيقة علمية. Spiders have eight legs. تمتلك العناكب ثمان سيقان نعم هذه حقيقة لا تقترن بوقت فممكن أن نعبر عن ذلك باستخدام زمن المضارع limited expressed with the present progressive يعني محدودة ممكن أن نستعمل زمن المضارع المستمر I'm writing on this occasion With a special pen, since I have misled my ordinary one. Normally, he lives in London, but at present he is living in Boston. 
since يعني استعمل at present يعني الآن كجهة تنامي السيرة in the present progress يعني in indicating that the action is viewed as in progress or process and of limited duration يعني فترة محدودة the progressive can express incompleteness even with a verb like stop whose action cannot in reality have duration thus the pass is stopping means that it's slowing down but has not yet stopped the progressive usually with an adverb of high frequency can also be used of habitual action conveying an emotional coloring such as a rotation he is always writing with a special pen just because he likes to be different. Instantaneous expressed with either the symbol, especially in a series. Yes, see my dear students. Instantaneous expressed with either the symbol, especially in a series or the progressive. So, نور هو طبعا كتابكم ما موجود على الشاشة صفحة 42 يعني تكملة النقطة الثالثة instantaneous watch carefully now first I write with my ordinary pen now I write with a special pen as you see I'm dropping the stone into the water the symbol present is however usual in radio commentary on sports, more passes to Charlton, and certain performative declarations and name the ship. Uh, Snaffel is obligatory. So, now with past. Past is uh, yes, uh, presented on the screen. An action in the past may be seen. Uh, الحدث في الماضي طبعا الباس هو هنا تاني ربما يكون الباس as having taken place at a particular point of time يعني حدث في فترة محددة أو over a period in the latter the period may be seen أو نعم ما يخص فترة إذا كانت الفترة هذه الأخيرة قد تكون إلى أبتو دا بريزنت يعني ممتدة إلى الحاضر or relating only to the past أو فقط إلى الماضي and the latter is maybe viewed لو هذا يكمل إذا كان الماضي having been completed قد تم وانتهى or not having been completed لم يكتمل طبعا هذا مخطط في وضع هاي زاد طلبة ذلك هاي النقطة الأولى اللي هي باعتبار من having taken place يعني قد حدث في وقت يعني as having taken place at a particular point of time اللي هي هاي أعزاء طالب تشوفوها يعني بالماضي okay this is the verb اثنين a to the present يعني إنه الفعل مستمر from the uh, from the past to the present. Uh, here uh, it is completed, having been completed, or not having been completed. Yes. Okay. Typical examples will be seen to involve the perfective and progressive aspects as well as the symbol past. I wrote my letter of 16 June 1972 with a special pen. I have written, I have written with a special pen since 1972. I have written with a special pen since 1972. 2A 
يعني ها ال ام اي اكستندد اكستندنج اوف تو ذا بريزنت يعني لاي زاد في الوقت الحاضر اي هاف ريتن وذ سبيشال بنت سنس يعني كتبته ب قلم خاص عند 1972 ات مين ذات اي ستيل رايت يعني الثاني انه لا زال انه انا اكتب Uh, having been completed, I wrote with a special pen. يعني بتوار ماضي. Not having been completed, I was writing poetry with a special pen. يعني هذا تفسير فترة ماضي وانتهت ماضي. I was writing. Habitual activity can also be expressed with a simple verb. I always wrote with a special pen. But since نعم like the symbol present this is not implied without a suitable adverb used to do or less commonly would maybe need to bring out this I used to write with a special pen the past and the perfective a relation to to a It is not the time specified in the sentence, but the period relevant to the time specified that must extend to the person in contrast. John lived in Paris for 10 years, and John has lived in Paris for 10 years. John lived in symbol past, entails that, and indicates that, The period of residence has come to an end, and which admits the possibility that John is dead. While John has lived in Paris for 10 years, which entails that John is still alive, but permits the residence in Paris to extend either to the present, to the usual interpretation, or to some unspecified date in the past. Compare also for generations, Nepal has produced brilliant mountaineers. For generations, Sparta produced or was producing fearless warriors. The first claim that Nepal is uh, still in a position to produce more mountaineers. Even if a long time may have elapsed since the last was produced. The second sentence, on the other hand, is uncommitted as to whether any further warriors can be produced by sport. The choice of perfective aspect is associated with time orientation and is consequently also with various time indicators. Lately, since, so forth, etc. It's therefore helpful to consider these two together. There are some examples. Adverbial with a symbol past compared to a period now past. Adverbial with present perfect compared to a period beginning. Past and stretching out to the present. I worked yesterday throughout the new year on Tuesday. I have worked since last January up to now, lately already. Adverbials with either symbol past or present perfect. Taman, I worked or have worked today this month for an hour. Now with their students, indefinite and definite. Definite and definite. Through its ability to involve a span of time, طبعاً span of time, يعني إدادة الوقت from earliest memory to the present, the perfective has an indefiniteness. نعم ال perfective بشنو عزاء الطلبة يشير إلى أنه Indefiniteness يعني عندهم وجود نقطة زمنية دالة which makes it an appropriate verbal expression for introducing topic of discourse.
نعم اللي تجعل منه صيغة فعلية نعم مناسبة لتقديم موضوع خطابي معين as the topic is narrowed down the emerging definiteness is marked by the symbol past أما إذا كان الشيء محدد فممكن أن نستعمل السمبل Yes, for example, he, ha he says that he has seen a meteor at some time between earliest memory and the present. As you see, as compared with he says that he saw the meteor last night that everyone is so excited about. Compared also, did you know that John has painted a portrait of Mary? Did you know that John painted this portrait of Mary? Now with past perfect. Mabatam. What was said of the perfect? Yes, and the uh, two point twenty nine applies to the past perfect with the complication that the point of current predominance to which the past perfect extends is a point in the past. Yes, as you see here. طبعاً أردت أن أسمع أعزاء طلبة ماضي الماضي لأن the past perfect هو أقدم من the past symbol. I say now present that when I met him, relevant point in the past, John had lived in Paris for 10 years. Relevant point. Here is relevant point. I ate my lunch after my wife came or had come home from her shopping. Yes, here the conjunction after is sufficient specification to indicate that the arrival from the shopping expedition taking place before the eating, so that the extra time indication by means of the past perfect becomes redundant. Now there is no interchangeability between the past perfect and the past of the perfect. John tells me that he hasn't seen Mary since Monday. John told me that he hadn't seen Mary since Monday. John told me that he didn't see Mary. Yes, this is not possible. Deal with that. The past and the progressive. As with the present, the progressive, when used with the past, specifies the limited duration of an action. For example, I was writing with a special pen for a period last night, but my hand grew tired. In consequence, it is a convenient device to indicate a time span within another, uh, which another event indicates by the symbol past. It can be seen as taking a certain for a plain in Mother Basit or Mother Mustamar. Now, while I was writing, the phone rang. الماضي مستمر عزاء الطلبة إذا اقترنا بالماضي البسيط في جملة معينة، فالماضي المستمر هو يعني is the action that takes longer period than the simple past. يعني هو الفترة اللي يأخذ فترة أطول الماضي. يعني يقول وبينما يعني أنا كنت أكتب. يعني عمل كان يكتب هو يكتب 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 بعدين دقل أو رن الهاتف يعني رن الهاتف يعني زمن لحظي في الماضي ولكن عميد الكتابة هي أخذ takes longer time the ability to express in complete action with the progressive is illustrated by the contrasting pair he read a book that evening implies that he finished it, yes. He was reading a book that evening implies that he didn't uh, finish it. Okay, the and more strangely boy, the girl was drowning in the lake. Well, permit, but someone dived in and rescued her. The girl drowned in the lake. Yes, page 48, 
habitual activity may be expressed but by the progressive provided it's clear that the habit is temporary at that time we were e bathing every day or not merely sporadic yes yes uh, sporadic sporadic يعني متقطع يعني for example we were sometimes walking to the office يعني هنا بها تقطيع and sometimes بها تقطيع but general habits may be pejoratively uh, pejoratively يعني بصورة محتقر my brother was always losing his keys نعم نعم هاي هنا هو اخي دائما ما يضيع المفاتيح لانها بجرتبلي يوز The perfect progressive limited duration or incompleteness and current relevance can be jointly expressed with the uh, perfect progressive yes limited duration or incompleteness and current relevance can be jointly expressed with the perfect progressive compare he has eaten my chocolate they are all gone he was eating my chocolate but i stopped him he has been eating my chocolate but there are some left frequently the perfect progressive implies an especially recent activity effects of which are obvious and the adverb just commonly accompanies this usage it has rained a great deal since you were here oh look it has just been raining verbal meaning and the progressive as pointed out in 2.8 the progressive occurs only with the dynamic verbs or more accurately with verbs in dynamic use these verbs a fall into five classes while the state of verbs which disallow the progressive can be seen as belong to one of two classes now let's say one and the dynamic will state of verbs dynamic are activity verbs for example abandon ask beg call drink ish help learn listen look hot play rain read or read say slice throw whisper work write etc these are called activity verb process verb change deteriorate grow nature slow down widen etc both activity and the process verbs are frequently used in a progressive aspect to indicate incomplete events in the progress Verbs of bodily sensations are الحواس, ache, feel, hurt, itch, etc. can have either symbol or progressive aspects with little difference in meaning. Transitional, the event verb, arrive, die, fall, land, leave, lose, etc. occur in the progressive but with a change of meaning compared with symbol aspects. The progressive implies inception. In other words, we would all approach to the transition. Momentary verbs, يعني, نعم, hit, jump, kick, knock, nod, tap, etc. have little duration and thus the progressive aspect powerfully suggests repetition. State verbs, verbs of inert perception, cognition, abhor, adore, Astonish, believe, desire, detest, dislike, doubt, feel, forgive, guess, hate, hear, imagine, impress, intend, know, like, love, mean, mind, perceive, please, prefer, presuppose, realize, recall, recognize, regard, remember, satisfy, see, smell, suppose, taste, think, understand, want, wish etc some of these verbs may take other than a recipient subject in which case they belong with the a1 class compare i think you are right i'm thinking of you all the time relational verbs uh,
the present progressive here I'm thinking oh no thinking and the sensation of all perception the cognition now the relational verbs apply to everyone belong to consent consists of contains uh, cost depend on uh, deserve, deserve, equal, fit, have, include, involve, lack, matter, need, uh, own, uh, possess, remain, a bachelor, require, resemble, seem, sound, suffice, stand, etc. Okay. Sorry. The future. There is no obvious future tense in English. Corresponding to the time. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. Relation or present hand past. Instead, there are several possibilities for denoting future time. I'm not going to do future time. Futurity, modality, and aspects are closely related, and future time is rendered. By means of modal auxiliaries or semi auxiliaries, or by simple present forms or progressive forms. I'm going to tell you about that. Well, I'm sure the future, I will or shall arrive tomorrow. He will be here in half an hour. The future and modal functions of these auxiliaries can hardly be separated. But shall and particularly will are the closest approximation to a colorless neutral future. Will for future can be used in all persons throughout the English speaking world, whereas shall for first person is largely split in the southern British English. Turn your page. The auxiliary construction. Is also used to refer to a statement seen in the past from point of orientation in the future. They will have f finished their book by next year. Be going to plus infinitive. This construction denotes future fulfillment of the present. Looked at more carefully, be going to has two or more. Two more specific meanings. I'm going to add that I'm going to make the head of the head. The head of the shikli, meaning, meaning, or statement. But future of present intention is used chiefly with personal subjects. For example, meaning, mustakbel that qasd hadar, or niya hadar, which is. When are you going to get married? فهناك إذا عند intention the other meaning is future of a present cause. يعني أما يكون ل personal subjects نعم أو personal non personal subjects اللي هي the cause بها she is going to have a baby. يعني نا cause it is going to rain. يعني نا أكو مسبب it is going to rain. Both of these uh, suggest that the event is already on the way. Be going to is not generally used in the main clause of conditional sentences. I must have in the in the Jumul Shartiyim then if if you leave now you will never regret it. Then he akid ma bihirahi kun future of present cause. Present progressive. The present progressive uh, refer to a future happening in the uh, In the present, its basic meaning is fixed arrangement, plan, or program. He is walking to London. Since the progressive is used to denote present as well as future, a time adverbial is often used to clarify in which meaning the verb is being, is being used. They are washing the dishes now or later. The present progress is a special fragment with dynamic transitional verbs like arrive, come, go, land, start, stop, etc. 
refer to a transition between one two states or decisions. The plane is taking off at yes uh, 25. The president is coming to the United, uh, United Nations this week. Symbol present. The symbol present is regularly used in subordinate clauses that are conditional, introduced by if, unless, etc., or temporal, introduced by as soon as, before, when. What will you say if I marry my boss? The guests will be drunk before they leave. The use of the symbol present in many clauses may be said to represent a marked future aspect of unusual certainty in that it attributes to the future something of the positiveness one normally associates with the present and past events. It's used for statements about the calendar. It's clear, my dear students. Naam. يعني the symbol of present which is used in the subordinate clause of the Shadiyah and the Ibadiyah. Naam. Or in about the calendar, for example, yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday. The calendar and it describes immutable events or fixtures. أو هاي الأشياء الثابتة، أشياء والأحداث أو الواقع الثابت مثلاً سمو البرزنت مثلاً when is high tide in the desert what time is the festival اللي يخلص الوقت هاي الأشياء ثابتة نستعملها the present symbol أو سمو البرزنت both the symbol of present and the progressive are often used with dynamic transitional verbs arrive come leave etc both having the meaning of plan or program the train leaves or is leaving night from Chicago all shall progressive the auxiliary verb construction can be used together with the progressive infinitive to denote the future as a matter of course all shall be verb ing the use of this combination avoids the interpretation to which will shall and be going to are liable of volition in instance etc now he'll uh, uh, do his best future or volitional interpretation possible he'll be doing his best future interpretation only yes my dear students uh, he'll do his best نا اشارت الى الفيوتشر او البولاشنال انتربريتيشن يعني هناك ارادة اما هيل بي دوين هيز بيست نا اشارت الى الاستقبال فقط يعني من يجي الى المستقبل المستمر تشير الى استقبالية اما هنا هيل دو هيز بيست اشارت الى البولاشن او هناك اشنو بلينس هناك ارادة نعم ازا طلب complex construction can be used to convey greater tact and consideration than the symbol auxiliary construction does. When will you put on or be putting on in their performance? When will you come or be becoming? Yes. Uh, this is the final page of our lecture, B2 plus infinitive. This expresses yes arrangement, for example, uh, we are to be married soon. يعني B two B two نيجي ورا مصدر له ثلاث استعمالات أو استخدامات أساسية اللي تعبر عن arrangement. مثلاً there is a, to be an investigation. Uh, أو we are to be married and then the arrangement or command you are to be back by ten o'clock. أو contingent future مستقبل قريب. He is to succeed. He must work harder. The money contingent future. Now, be about plus infinitive. Yani, this construction expresses near future or imminent fulfillment. The taxi is here and we are about to leave. B2 may enclose other items such as shortly or soon to provide the means of future expression. With other items again, bound, liable, certain, likely, future expression is overlap with model meaning. He is certain to address the meeting. It is certain that he will address. 
فيوتشر تايم ان ذا باس فيوتشر تايم ان ذا باس ما درس جيتن ستيك يعني مستقبل الجيم الماضي ياخذ خمس اشكال سم اوف ذا فيوتشر ديسكاس كان بي يوز ان ذا باس تنس فلكسيبلس تايم ويتش از ان ذا فيوتشر فروم ا فيو بوينت ان ذا باس اوكسيليري فيرب كونستكشن مثلا ود فير ليترالي ناريتيف ستايل ذا تايم واز نوت فار اوف وين هي وود ريجريت هيز ذيس ديسيشن be going to plus infinitive we have to going to often with the tense of unfulfilled intention you are going to give me your address نعم هنا يقول unfulfilled intention نعم نية غير كاملة أو قصد غير مكتمل past progressive يعني I was meeting him in Brody the next day Uh, to be or be to plus infinitive formal was destined was arranged he was later to regret his decision uh, the meeting was to be held the following week and finally be about to on the point of he was about to hit me my dear students okay uh, thank you for your listening